Obviously, the market's really hinging longer term on what happens on the vaccine front. Uh, what's next? Give me the timeline. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're obviously, good morning. So obviously, we're very excited about our data, and that provides a, a really important platform for confidence to move forward. Uh, really, the next big step is to demonstrate that the vaccines are efficacious. You know, we are able to learn a lot of things in an early trial from a vaccine because the immune responses are meaningful. We are able to compare them to uh, subjects who had recovered who are quite ill, which defines the upper limit of what uh, an immune response can look like. So great data. Now we're moving into multiple uh, looks at efficacy, and that will be a global trial. The, the funding we have from uh, Operation Warp Speed is going to enable that, uh, funding from uh, the CEPI. So, uh, you know, we're, we're fanning out big, big push now to, to show that the vaccine is safe and efficacious in a large, in a large way. So the next step then, is that a phase three study? And if it is, can you give me the, the size that you're going to be working with there? Yeah, so we're, we're stepping into to several trials, actually. We have a phase two that will expand the safety and immunogenicity you just saw. That's going to help feed into a, a, a big U.S. and global uh, OWS-funded trial uh, start in September, we hope, into September. We have a couple other trials where we're in other countries looking at efficacy. So all those are going to start. We have a, you know, we, we of course, uh, have to work through the FDA and they are reviewing the data. There'll be a trigger point once that is reviews done, which, you know, they've been very efficient. Uh, we expect to start that. And, you know, our big dream, I think, you know, you'll ask this, hmm. is that maybe we can demonstrate FC in the fall, winter and, and by December, uh, you know, be, be ready for deployment. Could you do any further? I mean, any sooner than the fall? Yeah, you know, it's it's that's really moving fast. So think about it. You've got to immunize people. They develop an immune response. You're in. You, you try to find the pockets where there's disease. So you can imagine if I came to you and said, you know, I, I've got this quarter, and every time I I flip it, I get heads. And you say, well, how many times you do it? And you said, well, twice. So that's not convincing. You have to have enough disease, uh, you know, to really show the vaccines working. So that's not. It's just going to take. Mm -hmm. Some time and uh, you know there's a lot of thinking going on on how to target areas where the transmission's high and that of course will will drive you know getting the number of events needed to prove the vaccine uh, works so so you know these are all these are normally eight to ten year development programs uh, so you know that's that's our goal we know it's a curse this that this virus is affecting all walks of life believe me I can you know everyone is just completely working seven days a week to, to make that make that event happen. And, uh, you know, the other thing you might know is normally we do things in series, and that includes manufacturing scale up. Mm -hmm. We're doing that in parallel. So, you know, the, the mm -hmm. goal is the moment we have proof the vaccine is working, uh, you know, um, um, endorsed by the FDA, we have the supply of vaccine that can be deployed quickly. There's a lot of planning going around uh, deployment already, even anticipating that will have some good results. The question becomes sort of where does it go? Uh, Bill Gates, Microsoft founder, spoke with Bloomberg uh, about its vaccine, uh, about a vaccine and encouraging congressional lawmakers to consider adding $8 billion to the economic relief bill currently being debated for less developed nations. He said, we've only taken care of ourselves. If we just add this, which is less than 1% of the bill, then it's a typical U.S. picture where we show up strategically, humanitarily, uh, and help ourselves to avoid the disease coming back in a super effective way. Um, how are you thinking about vaccine distribution in light of the money you've received from the U.S. government, too? Well, well, you know, actually, the first money we received to support this $400 million was from CEPI, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation. And the Gates Foundation is a big backer of that. We have a very close relationship with, with the foundation. Uh, they're, they're a big supporter of our vaccine. They've seen the data. They've seen how good it is. I can tell you we're committed to deploying uh, in the rest of the world. So we have manufacturing in the U.S. We have manufacturing in Europe, Asia, uh, uh, and India. So, you know, there's a plan. There's a very aggressive plan to go out to the rest of the world with, with our vaccine. One thing we found in the results yesterday is that the dose needed is very, very small. So you can imagine if you make, you know, a million doses of a, of a, of a vaccine that requires 50 micrograms or you know, the dose requires five micrograms. Now you're increasing your supply by tenfold. Mm -hmm. That has huge implications for the ability to, uh, d you know, deploy this in the in the uh, developing world. And just by the way, Novavax has recently been working, uh, you know, in the four-year global trial. So we have lots of connections overseas 
on how to test, how to implement, and so, so you know, we're committed to that. So uh, on that front, I mean, does Novavax need slash want to make a profit off of the vaccine? Well, we're a company, you have to be. In fact, you know, I would say it's a little, it's a big shame that this type of investment had not been made earlier. This is gonna establish Novavax as a vaccine company, and we are particularly good at looking at these emerging infectious diseases. And so this is, this is, this is an expected event. I mean, the magnitude and just the, the duration is, is really, you know, uh, probably historic, but it's gonna happen again. Uh, but we did not have an infrastructure really able to, to pivot and, and make a vaccine with the kind of speed that could have mm -hmm. been faster. And so, so we really, I think the U.S. especially, you know, being a leader in biotech and, 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 and development uh, and innovation, we really need to establish an infrastructure that can pivot on a dime when there's a new virus cropping up. We, in fact, we, we do this all the time. We have a flu vaccine and, you know, flu strains arise. But the, the, the manufacturing, the rest of the, um, you know, the infrastructure needed is going to get established by, by this uh, effort on COVID and, and should be sustained, mm -hmm. you know, for, you know to, to keep us from going through this incredibly, uh, yeah. you know, destructive event.